You want to do the intro? What's up, my pilots? I'm Angry Poncho, and with me today is Unhappy Cardigan. Why don't you say hi, Cardi? Wait a second. I thought I was Unhappy Poncho. <laughs> what? And you were Angry Cardigan. Ah, I fucked it up again. <laughs> Can you rehearse this? <laughs> I cut, cut. <laughs> you have that little intercut scream with like the test colors and go beep, beep. <laughs> Some difficulties. <laughs> All right, what's up, my pilots? Your poncho here. Uh, I'm here with an unhappy card again, once again. Hello. And we're going to be ranking Baldur's Gate 3 characters. We just found this list online, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We've got tiers from S to D and then a who tier. So I'd be curious to think your opinions. Should we start with the uh, companions? Yes, let's do the Just companions. Just to make it easy. Who's the first one on here? Astarian. Oh, S. S. <laughs> S for simp. Put him up there, please. <laughs> S for simp. Well, <laughs> it, here's the thing. I, I feel like I can't put him higher than like B tier. Why? Because... And I'm not just saying that because I simp over him. I think he's a great character. He's a, okay. He he did win the award for his actor did win the award for voice acting. So mm -hmm. I can go A. Why no? But why? like he he's like the stereotypical tsundere character. No. He's like sassy and bitchy and like does this thing and then eventually you find out oh he's actually insecure like it's a, it's a good arc but it's one we've seen before like a but thousand times. But it's a good times. arc, so it's S. What's well, good? It's it, S is like the perfect arc. Yeah, he's perfect. Like I didn't. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I have the mouse. A star and goes into A tier. Oh, are we gonna have a fight? We Cut. might. We're gonna have to go take it. We're we're gonna gonna take this outside. <laughs> take outside. Right. Now Withers, on the other hand, S tier. Withers is pretty dope, I will say. Fuckable to the extreme. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he just he he just looks at you and it's like, thou hast no bitches. <laughs> he does. Like you can't do better than that. He refuses to elaborate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his whole character. He refuses to elaborate. <laughs> he is perfect. We do love Withers. All right, who's next? Gale. Fucking <laughs> C tier. He's there. He's there. I mean, he's kind of a burden. Yeah, he eats your best items. You know, in our, you know, in our, let you know, our gameplay. Um, in our game, he ate. What did he eat? That was the only one in the game. Oh, he fucking <laughs> he got like mind confused or whatever. He got some mind status, and we lost control of him for a bit. And for a couple rounds, he was doing his own thing, and he ate the noble stock. <laughs> he ate a plot item, so he he goes to C tier for eating things he shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> damn bad, it, Gale. Bad Gale. Put that yeah. down. It was the only one in the game, and he ate it. So yeah. rip that. <laughs> Carlac. S -tier. Oh, S tier. She's so perfect. She's she's great. I, I I think she has a cool arc. She does have a cool arc. Her her whole thing about going from being, she goes from being like YOLO. I'm not gonna think about tomorrow, to, oh God, I'm dying, and I like have to face my own mortality. Yeah, she has a really good arc, and she's just so adorable and cute. I love her. And I mean, obviously, this whole video is spoilers, but I feel like the best. I feel like the best ending you can get is going to Avernus with Carlac. I didn't get that when I did it. <gasps> I, oh, no. So I did pretty much full-on Astarian with Lazel, and I did a lot of Shadow Hearts, or Shots, as I like to call her. Mm -hmm. So at the end, she, like, died because I didn't heal her, and I was so upset. I yeah. was like, never again. Apparently, if you have a good enough relationship with Gale and her, the two of them will go to Avernus together. And if you're, like, her lover, you can go with her. So when I went, when I did the Carlac romance playthrough, I went with her to Avernus, and Will, like, came along as our third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, great character, great voice acting, mm -hmm. and, oh, we love ourselves a strong woman. We do. Lazel. I love Lazel, and I feel like she get no, no Trevor, no. I oh, okay, no. look. No. I, I can give her B tier. Okay. Because okay. she's... You, you 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 go first. Okay, I really like Le Lazel. She was raised to believe that like violence, war is the only thing she's capable of, and then she's been basically brought up to believe that like there is this one person she has to follow, and she was never given her own opinion. So when she travels with you, she finally starts like discovering herself. And at the end of the game, if you're close enough with her, you can say, "Hey, no, why don't you do your own thing?" 
And she's like, you know what, I will. And because of that, I just loved watching her become more and more, like, free, I guess, throughout the whole thing. So I really actually did enjoy Lazelle. You want to know my canon ending for Lazelle? What's that? In my head canon? If you say she dies, I swear. <laughs> so she goes with you for the whole early game because she's like, we have to find the crash. We have to get purified. Mm -hmm. And then she goes through all the adventures that lead up to that with you. And the whole time she treats you like shit. And then you get to the crash and you do the Zathisk and it doesn't work. Like you don't get purified. Right. And instead you, she's like, we have to go talk to the people in charge and tell them that this doctor's fucking around. So you go talk to the people in charge and uh, fucking uh, Vlacketh comes out and is like, you're my bitch now. Go into the thing that's protecting you from the absolute and, and kill them. And then I say no. And Lazelle's little bar turns red. <laughs> oh i haven't got that and just she joins the githyanki and tries to kill you oh i haven't got if you that tell vlaketh to fuck off i'm gonna do that that's my canon ending for lazelle because to me she you know what she is she is a kid who grew up in an extremely religious household <laughs> oh that's pretty accurate <laughs> and you know what those people don't change their minds very often they more often than not just stay in that environment i feel like when she's given the option between Killing the people, the the fucking uh, Ksva Ishtik that she just met mm -hmm. like a week ago, or siding with her people, she's gonna side with her people. Like, so she's her canon ending in my head is you refuse to go into the uh, plane caster and she turns on you and helps to get the Yankee try to kill right. you. Right. I mean, unless she's not with you during. No, that. if she shows up for that cutscene though, she's fucking pissed. Yeah. And she'll switch sides in the middle of the fight. I feel like I'm one of the few people that likes Lazal, and you know, if you watched Roll for Sandwich. Roll for sandwich. Have you watched that? I've, I've heard of it. Um, oh, I forgot his name. I know I know his name. I forgot it. He also really likes Lazal and thinks Lazal gets too much shit. I think that the 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 arc they're going for is fine, mm -hmm. but I honestly, in a uh, in a world full of of magic and and like crazy high fantasy shit, someone changing their religion is is still the least believable thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't buy it. Well, we haven't got to shot yet. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. Song. Yeah. yeah. All right, who's next? We got ourselves Minthara. I haven't traveled with her yet, so. All right, well, I'm going to give her a B tier. Okay. Beca also, is this like her actual face? I think this might be a, like a modded version to make her look nicer. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't quite look right. Anyway, I, I, I really like her. She has got my favorite look in the whole game, mm. which is... When you're evil in Act 1, and then you go into Act 2, and she's like being put on trial in front of Ketherick, there's a moment where she sees that you've come in, and she looks at you with this look like, please help me. Like, you were there, you saw what happened. And she has like the most, this most like desperate, pathetic look. And it's like, oh, I actually would help you if you weren't such a dick. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 like, I like traveling with her. I think she's a, she's a cool character. Uh, but she never really rises above the... I'm a drow and I'm evil because I'm from the Underdark and I, you know, I murdered my mom when I was six, you know. It sounds pretty drow. Yeah, it's very drow. I don't really have much of an opinion on it just because I haven't traveled with her yet, but I'll, I'll take that. You've seen, yeah. <laughs> I've seen this, I've seen this screenshot of her giving someone head or something. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. She does, she does give that, that sloppy toppy. Maybe mm -hmm. we should put her in A tier. <laughs> oh, no. Shadowheart. <laughs> Uh, Shot. Um, I like Shadowheart as well, but I wouldn't say she's like. How do I feel about Shadowheart? It's just funny because I've tr I played with her the whole time through, my first playthrough. Um, I think she definitely has like an interesting story. Mm -hmm. You know, like she's she, she's like you know like oh this is you know um Sha is her god, and she's she's lost her memory she has this item um and then she you know all the shit that happens with her parents yeah i feel like she also has that turn where she like switches religion mm -hmm. but i think because so much of the plot of that act is around that yeah and she literally like finds out oh the goddess that i was worshiping is known for fucking with people's memory and then i met my spoilers parents yeah. And like I did this, it's like I feel like she has a more believable turn. She does. Than than Lazelle. Uh, yeah, I I think so too. Cuz Lazelle never like directly addresses the, she the elephant in the room. Yeah, I, you, you can you that. can get to that point, but honestly, freeing freeing Orpheus 
is like one of the worst endings in my opinion i haven't done that one yet but i have a plan for it to do it in a playthrough well like... do, do it in a run where you, you like lazelle okay but anyway yeah i think shadow hearts turn is is more convincing yeah. and i honestly i kind of just like justice here mm -hmm. shadow, i like evil shadow heart better yeah, I like Evil Shadowheart better. But... She's she's the only one who feels like she's got a plan for what she's going to do after the game ends. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the epilogue chapter yet. Oh, I haven't seen it yet either. But uh, I'm sure there's more more information that comes mm -hmm. out there. But just based on the base game, it seems like when you finish, she's like, yeah, I got a whole cult to go lead and we got things to do. Yeah. Whereas everyone else is like, well, I guess I got my tadpole out and I'll go back to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> go back to what I was doing, I guess. All right, Will. I find Will so boring. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's so boring. He's just, I mean, yeah, he's a good character, and I mean, he's... Is he, though? Is, is he not... Saying, I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> is, 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 is he not, like, the most basic, like, banal warlock story? Like, yeah, Like, a it's... good guy sold his soul to, to do, you know, because he needed the power to defend his family, and now everyone judges him because he's got horns, and it's like... Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Okay. I just find him so boring to talk to. Yeah. He also has like the crappiest romance. I, I've only I've gotten partway into it and just cringed so hard I noped out. I haven't like um my first playthrough all the way through, I just didn't have him at my camp. I just <laughs> never got him. Yeah, and you know what? You didn't miss much. And I, cause I, I guess I just never spoke to him when I got into the um. The guild, the uh, gourd, gourd. The Grove? Yeah, the gro the, gold, the Grove. I never spoke to him, so <laughs> I never I never like got him in my party, so and then whenever I have like in our playthrough, um I'm like he's just so boring. Yeah, he's D tier. Yeah, he is. Halson. Uh just because you can fuck him as a bear? Um <laughs> I think <laughs> Uh, thirty-four percent of people, out of all the people that have fucked Halson, thirty-four percent apparently did it as a bear. So one in three of you have some explaining to do, and I am I'm among you. I haven't done his romance yet. But... I I fucking love the line he gives you right before that. Yeah. You tell him like, no, the 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 cowboy hat stays on during. <laughs> and he's like, are you sure? And he says he literally is like, it will be untamed, vigorous, and well. Large, <laughs> and it's just like, oh, Halson, you're so modest. And then it's really funny. Um, he doesn't care if you romance other people. Yeah, he's Polly. So yeah, he he's like just out there with yeah, nature, he's man. Yeah, he's out there. Oh, and have you heard the line? And then you talk to a starian about. He's like, oh, I'm out there just understanding nature or something. Have you seen that <laughs> that bit? I haven't, but um, it sounds right. It's really funny. That's if you have a romance with a Starian and Helsing, but I haven't done that myself. I just that's quite a, that's quite a duo, the bear and the twink. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still upset that a Starian's an A tier. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so upset. You know, compromise has to be made. Jahira. Um, but I know Jahira is like big because she's been in. She was in the first two games. Yep. Um, you meet her like ten minutes into the first game, and I don't like her. Yeah, she's in the first game. She's a fighter druid multi class, mm. and in my opinion, it just doesn't work. Like, right, mechanically, it just sucks. Yeah, and I then, haven't played the first and second game. So I, I didn't finish. Just... I didn't finish the first game because, mm. oh my god, it's so old. Like the mechanics are so bad, the controls so bad. It's so like sloppy. I can't tell what's going on in combat, and it plus it uses second edition D and D, which is a goddamn say, nightmare. What edition? I was gonna say what edition. So I, I think she's she, even though she's like a fan favorite, but like people like Carlac, fucking. Oh my god, it's the Jahira. I'm still just like no. Yeah. It's, she's she's grandma. She, yeah, she's yeah. And I don't feel like her Harper's plot hooks are particularly interesting yeah. either. Like with a lot of these characters, you you said their name, and I'm like super passionate, and you say her name, I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel the same way about Minsk. Yeah. He's in earlier games. Like honestly, his his outline is so strange. I, I was convinced he was a monk. <laughs> like I, I remembered playing the first game, and I thought he was the monk. So like he's his most notable thing is that he has a hamster. Like the hamster is a more interesting character than him. Does he get any points because he's voiced by Matt Mercer? He is. Yes. <laughs> no we move them down for that no! wow okay well the voice actor is better known than the character well 
I bet you more people know who Matt Mercer is than know who Minsk is. Well, especially because... especially if you'd asked me a year ago. But then, like... Literally who? The character is less known than the voice actor. We well, can't say that because there might be some people who have known Matt Mercer from other things. and just Yeah, that's my, that's my point. Baldur's Gate. And I, bet more, saying, I bet more... Bef- if you say, like, who's Minsk and they haven't played the game, of course they're not going to yeah, know who he is. That's my point. I'm, I bet you, before Baldur's Gate 3 came out, more people had heard of Matt Mercer than had heard of Minsk. Wait, before it came... Of course before it came out. It, you didn't... Ex- oh. Oh. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. So, so my point is, like, nobody fucking remembers Minsk from the earlier games. Like, the, the like five people that played the early games. But everybody knows who Matt Mercer is. I like how I'm like, yeah, give him additional points for that. And you're like, oh, no. No, no, <laughs> you're missing it entirely. Yep. All right, everybody's favorite party member. Uh, Scrappy-Doo. Scratch, he's so cute. We, he like Scratch is a good boy. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. We we, we like him, and I think I think Owl Bear is right there next to him. Yeah, he's a he's a good owl. I'm still trying to get that. Have you got that achievement? Did I did. Figure, I did. How did you do it? There's a cutscene where the first night that they're both in your camp, mm. they like make noises. You go investigate, and it's just them cuddling. Aww. And then you you pet one and pet the other and okay. get the achievement. I should have both of them at my camp soon. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I don't do anything weird because I'm playing a Dark Urge character. Ooh. 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 Us. <laughs> Absent for 90% of the game? Yep. <laughs> but he, you know what? He's just a little guy. Yeah, he is. I mean, you can't... I mean, just because he's not in the game much, you can't blame him. Maybe he won't... He's actually the companion that you meet first. Mm-hmm. That's true. He, he's, he's, he's OG. He is. He just kind of vibes of you too. He's not when you see him. He's not. He's just kind of there. He's like, "What up, dude?" And you're like, "Hey, what's up?" <laughs> so, so yeah. So I think maybe he's a little bit less because he's not present. So yeah, I was gonna say. But then again, a lot of things are better than Gale. <laughs> a lot, yeah. You know what? He's, he's above Gale. You're right. He's above Gale. Poor Gale. <laughs> Oof. All right. Oh my. Queen. Alfira. My queen. Alfira. I love her. Aka burger meat. Have you played all the way through Dark Urge? Yeah. I was so upset. I I like El- Elvira. I like her too. And and uh, honestly, I like her so much that on my dark my good Dark Urge playthrough, I went to the Grove and knocked her out before every rest, so that if I if uh, it was the rest where I was supposed to eat her, I wouldn't. I was so upset. I didn't know that was happening. And I got super excited that she was here. Yeah. She shows then, up to your camp and you're like, yeah. And then I was just like, hi, Theo. And then I was so upset. I'm very sad. Yeah. I, I like her. I, I, like I, her I, I like that. Did you know that if you perform the song with her, you get uh, in, instrument proficiency? I think so. I think I did perform the yeah. song with her in my dirge. Maybe. So that's cool. And she, I watched you... And Torin, us, copyright me. <laughs> <laughs> original character, don't steal. Yeah, my original character. Um, yeah, no, I like, yeah, I like her a lot. All right, how about Damon? I, I like him too. I, he, I mean, I know he's not around much in the game, but whenever I do chat with him, like, I'm like. He shows up in all three acts. Mm-hmm. He's plot relevant for Karlak, who's yep. an S tier. Yep. He's a tiefling, which automatically makes him cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, he gives you unique armor and weapons and stuff. Yep. Like he's he's B tier. He's a B tier NPC. He's, he's pretty good. It, the only way he could be higher is if he was a companion, I think. Yeah, I agree. But he's just he, I like him. Me too. He's good. All right. Who's next? Um. Who do you have an opinion on? Saza. Saza. I. She just kind of pisses me off. Yeah, she sucks. She does suck. D tier. Um. Because she, she tries to lead you into the Minthar's camp and then is like, look, I got you a prisoner, boss. I know. And it's like, you asshole. I know. And then she like... And then when she shows up at... Sorry, go ahead. I just I like feel bad that she's like taunting someone who like lost someone recently. Yeah. And it's that, that's also shit. She's a dick. But I mean, as a villains go, she's... Mm-hmm. But like, you gotta be a villain with like a motivation. Right. And she's just like, yeah, we got this new god, the absolute, last month. And I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Like you don't even have a, have a tadpole. You're just an idiot. Yeah. I do. I think the only reason people really care about her at all is because there's an achievement for keeping her alive the whole game. Oh, 
Oh, really? Yeah. There's three opportunities where she gets murdered, and you have to save her life three times. All right. You have to stop her from getting shot in revenge by that tiefling with the crossbow. Okay. You have to stop her from getting killed by Minthara when she f- tries to turn you in and find turns out you're a true soul. And then you have to save her from getting killed by uh, Ketherick at the beginning of Act 2. Because she's one of the three goblins that shows up there if she's still alive. Interesting. I'm going to have to try that. Yeah. Hi, Selena. Yeah, the babies are here. The babies are here. All right. I think, uh, hell. It's time for Raphael. <laughs> I love him. I think Raphael's pretty good, right? He's pretty Is he awesome. A-tier? He's A or S-tier for me. He's, um, it, honestly, I don't... I think I would put him in the bottom of A tier. I really like his character, and I love that, like... He's such a ponce. He is. But it's perfect I, for it's him, It's perfect though. for him, and I love that, like, he literally, like, literally only fucks himself. Yeah. yeah so. And he's not even good at it. Yeah, I know. He's a, he's a bottom who's yeah. bad at sex. Yeah. Like, how easy is your life, dude? I try and not think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that you can, uh, you can uh, throw shade on him for being bad at sex in the final fight. I did not. And it pisses him off. It's really funny. <laughs> I'm going to have to try that. Yes. If you talk to the, the succubus, and the, or if you speak with that on the succubus, the, it'll tell you that he's bad at sex. And then you can throw that in his face right before the fight. And, oh, I straight up and just it, asked him. It really pisses him off. It's so funny. I was like, ask me, when he says ask you two questions, I just went ahead and was like, is mm-hmm. he good in bed? <laughs> and then he, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then when, when if you speak with Deb with him, on the succubus, you can ask him, did Raphael prefer to be on top or bottom? And he says he's a bottom. <laughs> so he's a bottom who's bad at sex. And then uh, in the final moments before the fight, Raphael's like threatening you. And he's like, do you have any last words? It will take but a moment to finish you. And then you can be like, it's longer than it said. That's longer than your incubus said it takes to finish you. <laughs> and he's just like, he gets so pissed. I think he says, I think he calls you a contemptuous creature. <laughs> And then the combat starts. It's My, so funny. Although, does Raphael deserve a higher rating because of his awesome battle song? Yeah. That it... I mean... Oh. I think he's he's up in there. He's up in there. That, that fight is it's so good. so good. That, I go out of my way to do that fight in every playthrough, even if I, like, I'm not interested in getting the items or like the, doing the plot there. Mm. Yeah, I love that fight. Just the, the, I, and then I think that like, song was like top. It's in my top songs. Yeah, that's sort of on the Spotify Wrapped for me too. Yeah. All right, let's knock out some literally who's. Um. We got the merchant from the Grove. Why would I care? Yeah. Um. And he's kind of a dick too. Yep. We got Nettie the healer. Yeah. Barely a character. Yeah, it's true. The sister of the dead. Oh, True soul in the, the woods. Yeah, that. Yeah. I don't even know her name. Same. Literally, who? I think I pretty. I think I murdered her too. We got. I don't know who this is. Oh, she's the one that wants to drink from Astarian. No, think. that's this one. Oh, you're right. Then, I don't even know who this is. Is that? There's a few tieflings in this game. Yeah, she looks really familiar though. Is she like the sister to um? Mm, Roland's sister? I don't think yeah, so. Okay. No. And I'm not sure then. I think I think it's Lacrissa, but I think she's just another tiefling. I don't honestly, literally, who? Mm. Um, Sovereign Spa doesn't have a personality. Yeah, literally, who? Uh, <laughs> the kid who shows up at your camp. Yeah, that's D tier because it's annoying. Yeah, there's Withers in here twice, so Withers. Withers. Withers is still S tier. <laughs> Withers is still S tier. <laughs> uh oh, the. Uh, the fake paladin yeah. that shows up. Yeah. This was kind of underdone. Yeah, I agree. Don't really care about that at all. Aridin. I, I want him in D tier. Because he sucks. He does like, suck. Like these, I just don't really care. But this guy sucks. Yeah, he's such an awesome What a dick. And like his, he's a dick through all, all three mm-hmm. acts. Like he just stays a dick. Yeah, he is. I feel similarly meh about Lump. Mm-hmm. Because even though he's like the world's smartest ogre... You know that if he used to have 19 intelligence and the the crown was actually making him dumber. <laughs> they fixed that in, in the latest patch. Now That's he's got funny. now he just has 17 int. So he doesn't need the headband of intellect anymore. Mm. He's literally just that smart and the headband is just head headgear, which I find really strange. Like the 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 joke is that a dumb ogre found 
Yeah. Found it. <laughs> Found the thing and became a gourmand. Yeah. But if he was that smart beforehand, the whole thing doesn't make sense. Yeah. So that's just, true. Eh. Uh, Kaga. Love to hate her. Yeah. At least as far as villains go, she has a motivation. She, she does have motivation. And there's a plot. There's a quest tied to it. Mm-hmm. So that, that's something. That is something. Yeah. All right. What about the Leviathar loves, loves whips and chains guy? talk to him too much in mine i wouldn't say he's like bad yeah I just mean, who D- just no opinion way, yeah no opinion really like i yeah. saw him and i spoke to him a little bit and i was like that's cool and then that was it i feel the same about true soul near no i love true soul near you like him like as a character or um i think he's really hot <laughs> like, we need to add a lower tier no for for simp bait simp no, no anyone with like white I think, hair i think he might have a type <laughs> no i liked nia um he's an asshole but like i mean i guess where, he where would you put him d d or c definitely yeah put him up in d tier and I'm not just saying that because I think he's attractive. All right. Um, what about this this uh, lady who wants to drink, wants to have a star and bite her? Um, she... I feel like there's no explanation for her presence in the tower. Right. Or the fact that she has a shop in the yeah. town that sells blood products. That's, yeah, it's a little odd. And she's also kind of a bitch as well. It feels shoehorned in. It's a little weird. Yeah. Okay. The dwarf's wife? Oh, yeah, that lady who you, um... Uh, Honestly, D-tier. I fucking hate her. Yeah, she's like... I mean, like, I know... Like, if your husband's abusing you, just divorce him. Don't, like, like, make him dumb. What did she do to make him dumb again? Well, he, uh... He got brain damage from something. And she's, like, deliberately not helping him heal because she likes him better as an idiot. Mm -hmm. She's, like, keeping him crippled for her own benefit. It's like, just fucking leave him. Yeah. And you know what? If you give the noble stock to her husband and he, he, he recovers, he immediately starts being a dick. And you know what? She leaves him. It's like, why didn't you yeah, just do why? that in the first yeah, place? Exactly. Clearly you're capable. Exactly. Like you, you have this guy be your servant for 80 years. Like, holy shit. Well, dude. Fucking dark. Uh, the Gur Hunter. Don't care. Yeah, I don't really care. My I mean, favorite I mean, thing about him is watching a star and stab him in the eye. Yeah, I think that's pretty funny too. I don't like Sovereign... Uh, Glug or whatever his yeah. name is. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's Glug. Yeah. It's just it's why? Just kind of, why yeah. wouldn't he just become part of the other circle? Why is he a a yeah. Mikanid with ambition? It doesn't seem like it seems contrary to their collective nature. Right. Let's put Saluna in S tier. Yeah, we'll put Saluna in S tier. She's blocking the the screen right now. <laughs> Good cat. All right, Arabella. She actually has a pretty cool story. I don't know. Have you have you watched her story? Watched all the her? Way through? I've, Not watched I've gone it. all the way through, yeah. Okay, so you've seen kind of what happens to her and her parents and stuff. Yeah, I think she's up here in, in, in B tier with the other tieflings that you get to know. Yeah, she, she does have a pretty cool story. like. Yeah, and then she gives you a, a power. Yeah. Oh, oh, she does, doesn't she? Yeah. And I love listening to her conversations with Wivers. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> she calls him Bone Man. Yeah, Bone Man. And like, he's, it just cracks me up. He's like, can I? She's like, can I touch you? And he's like, no. <laughs> and he refuses to elaborate. Yeah. Just, that's him. <laughs> it's so funny. I love, I just love listening to that. All right. How about Matisse? Matisse? Um, lower than Arabella, definitely. Um... I'd say C, yeah. Yeah, he's just there. He's a background character. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is... The guy, isn't that the dude that... Grocash or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Don't care. He's just he's a boss. Yeah, he's... Yeah. He doesn't have personality. Yep. Uh, Wolfbrin. Oh, is he the guy that's on the windmill? Yep. Yep. Um... Seems like another Matisse. Um, never, he's he, fun. He does actually follow you around if you, or he comes with you to act two if you rescue him in the right way. And like, I think you have to do certain dialogue with the gnomes in the Underdark. Mm. And then he'll show up in Last Light and act two. I think I saved him the first time and then ever since I found out you can just yeet him, I've just yeeted him. Yeah, he's more fun to yeet. He's definitely more fun to yeet. Sorry, guy. Shouldn't have been, shouldn't have had physics tied to you. Yeah. 
Oh, Iron Hand guy. I forget his name, but I fucking hate him. Yeah. He's such a dick. He's a dick. His whole, th- he's like, I got this whole thing about like helping you destroy the Iron Watch. Mm-hmm. And then af- right after you do that, he immediately goes back to being racist against Gandians. Yeah. It's like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, he's... Like, the Absolute's not even defeated yet, and you're already picking infighting? Yeah. Like, fuck off. All right, how about Dame Aelin? Um, I like her. I mean, I'm, as I said earlier with, like, who was I said, that, like, when I hear their name, I'm not like, oh, yeah, I have so passionate. But I'm not like, I don't not like her. She's... Uh, she's, she's a, a cool, cool character. character. She's it's cool getting to like go through her storyline um, and kind of like seeing mm-hmm. her. I like that she shows up in two different boss fights. Yeah. And I think that her I think she's funny. Yeah, she is funny. She's kind of a hilariously direct lesbian. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I really enjoy. Gay, so I love that. I really part. enjoy after the uh, Catherick fight when Isabel comes in and, and she's just like so genuinely happy to see her. It's mm-hmm. really sweet. It is sweet. Because they've been apart for a hundred years or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, if you go and talk to them after that, uh, you're like, hey, you come back to my camp or whatever. And mm-hmm. Dame Owen's like, well, we might, but we need tonight for like the sucker of our bodies yeah, or something like that. So, I, I was like, yeah. we'll, we'll meet up with you after we fuck. It's been too long. Yeah. It has to happen now. <laughs> I think Isabel gets the gets the set next to her yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're both just like really there in Act Two, and then yeah, they give you like a little bit of a boost for yeah. the final fight. Uh, yeah, they do. They, like, they kind of like... just feel like they're hanging around in your camp all of Act Three. Yeah, they like I got the same feeling, but it's nice that they're there. You know, like they didn't just disappear. Like they're still there, and I think they help you at the end, don't they? You can get the Malin to come out for another fight with the Larakian in mm. the tower, the wizard. Oh, yeah. That wanted yeah. to buy her? Yes. And he'll... And she fucking banes him. Yes. You know, I'm putting her in B tier for baning a guy. She fucking loves destroying evil. She does. It's great. How about B fee fi fo Balthazar? Balthazar? Um, Balthazar... I like Balthazar. Like, for a boss, like, I think he's pretty, like, interesting character. Like... He's a necromancer. Um, I, know. I can put him in C tier. Yeah. And I think if you rescue Nia, um, when you go see Balthazar, Nia is one of the dead that he controls. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't know if you've ever seen that before. I know. I didn't know that was an outcome. I knew yeah. you could convince Nia to abandon uh, the Absolute. Yeah, I, I went to go see like Balthazar, and I, I went and found one. It was Nia, and I was like... No, I wanted you to live. That was very yeah. sad. Nier never lives in my good playthroughs because I always interrupt the cutscene where he starts murdering slaves in order to start combat early to save them. Yeah. So he's just dead in my playthroughs. Damn. Valthazar is so unexciting. We're talking about Nier again. I'm going <laughs> to move him down to D tier. <laughs> if we're talking about like bad guys, what about Cazador? Cazador. Uh, He's do- he doesn't have any characterization. He doesn't, no. He's not in the game enough. He's not. I mean, you... You hear about him a lot, and then in the final him? fight, he just kind of acts like a dick. Yeah. I mean, if you romance Astarian, you get to know him. Yeah. Like, I mean, kind of, he's not a great it's, guy. It's a show-don't-tell thing, right? Mm-hmm. All we could get is tell for Cazador. When I fought Cazador, I act, like I was like, oh, yeah, I finished it, and I was like doing the fight, and I fun away without thinking, and he just was like, wow, well, the side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I'll go with it. I saw in one of the patch notes they, they fixed that where, and they, they wrote in, like, Cazador will no longer die by falling in chasms, parentheses, he remembered he could fly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the little notes they put in this whenever they fix something mm-hmm. like that. All right, what about Priestess Gut? Um... Mm, I, f- I feel like D tier. Yeah, she's not. She's, she's not, not super. She's honestly, she might be down here with Ra- uh, Drow Rasklin. Yeah, they're just like early game fights. They're not particularly interesting. There's not a yeah, lot of plot, and she's a pretty easy fight as well. Like, yeah, I wouldn't even bother with her most runs if I didn't want to get a parasite out of her head. Yeah. All right. What about Kethric? Kethric is so fucking dope as a bad guy. So cool. I'm thinking A tier. Yeah, and his voice actor. His yeah, J- J. K. Simmons is a fucking great voice it's actor. So yeah, and he's so good. And when you do like his boss fight is really like good. Yeah, and I there's enjoy- two of them. Yeah, well, the I, three almost. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, 
I love the cutscene where he's introduced mm -hmm. and he's like, try again. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's... Saza's like, oh shit. Yeah. And then uh, I, I really enjoy that he, he actually gets some background. He does. And we actually see him actively in the game taking steps to try to reclaim his daughter. Yeah. And it's like, okay, I get why this guy became a Shar worshiper in the past. Yeah. Or like, and like now I get why he's a, uh, he became a Shar worshiper to forget about the loss of his wife. And he became mm -hmm. a, a acolyte of Merkel in order to resurrect his lost daughter. So yeah. Like, he's just a evil. He's just like Darth Vader. He's an evil family. Yeah, man. he is an evil family guy. And just I wanna... <laughs> he's Peter Griffin. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, and every time like I I had a scene with him, it was like really exciting, and I was super intrigued. Oh yeah, I I love the dialogue you can get with him, where like mm -hmm. if you're with the Absolute and you like learn his whole backstory, you can talk to him for like four or five dialogues before his fight starts on top of the tower. Yeah. And, like, he's this close to, like, giving up and not fighting you, which the game does a good job of thinking that you can do it. Yeah. Because you can talk all the other Thorms you can. Out, of, out of their fights. <laughs> yeah, you can. So then you get to the top, and you're talking to him, and he's like, ah, why am I doing this anymore? It's like, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I'm, I've become another pawn, blah, blah, blah. And then he remembers that he's swore his soul to Merkel, and he's like, oh, I guess we're going to fight anyway. Yeah. I think I have that dialogue as well. How about Orin? Um, I, Aaron is pretty badass. <laughs> she, what to say about Aaron? I like the shape shifting. Mm -hmm. I, I like the, the the background with her and the dirge. Yeah, that I haven't actually seen that yet. So, because I'm playing my dirge, my first dirge right now, so I'll probably have more to say about Aaron. But I did enjoy her fight, and I have a really, oh, I think I sent you this, I have a really funny screenshot where my game glitched, and Gale was, like, standing up T-posing, and Oren was, like, sniffing his ass. <laughs> okay, you know, that puts him above power. <laughs> and, um, that was, that was pretty funny, but, like... I just find it weird for a worshipper of Ball to be a shapeshifter. Yeah. That doesn't see, Ball was all about, like, the glorious, like, upfront murder. Yeah. And violence. Like, subterfuge is not really his thing. Yeah. It's kind of strange. And I, I like that she's she's pretty mean. And I, I tend to like kind of mean. You love, we characters. love a mean bitch. I love a mean bitch. So when I have cutscenes with her, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can, I like this. Um, <laughs> All right, speaking of mean bitches, how about Auntie Ethel? Oh my god. Auntie Ethel, I love and hate her. I think Auntie Ethel is like she, a B tier villain. She's a good boss. Like, she. You get to fight her twice, you know, right? Really? Yeah, she's in. She's two boss fights with her. One in Act One and one in Act Three. Ooh, I didn't find the Act Three one. You only get the Act Three one if you do certain things in Act One. Oh. Uh, oh, like if you don't yeah. kill well, her and. Let's just say you, my, you need to save Marina and then meet her in Act Three. Okay. And you can. There's like a quest for help the Hag survivors or something. And okay. I'll guess who to, shows up? I'll have to do that. I like her. I love her little underground dungeon. Like, yeah. and it's super, like, when you walk around and you see all these people that she's, like, made deals with. There's so much flavor in that room. Yeah, and so you, you can walk around and get, like, a story from all of it. And then um, there's a satisfying boss at the bottom. Yeah, and I love that she, like, camouflaged the land. That whole yeah. thing is, yeah. That's Making so... the red cap pretend to be a sheep. Yeah. That, that puts her up a little higher, I think, actually. Yeah, she's, I, yeah. <laughs> And I think, like, so I was, when did I see it? Some people thought that if you're a dirge or something, it, like, seems like she's hitting on you when you talk to her in the grove. Yeah, she's she's uh, impressed by you, I think. Yeah. She, like, senses that you're special. Yeah, she, yeah. So, she, overall, she's a, she's a really good boss. I like her. And I, I love that the, she's just, like, brazenly going out for power. Just a hag with ambition. Mm. You know, she's just out here with that, <laughs> trying to get that bag. Right. Just hustling. What about Maul? Maul, uh, I feel like Maul gets less characterization than Arabella. Or, I know, or... and that's surprising. Because they, they, I think she's like built up to be this character that's like in the, the game a lot. But yeah, and then you've, and you, there's like there's a whole quest in Act Two to go find her. Yeah, and it just goes nowhere. Yeah, and then in Act Three she just shows up and the quest completes. Like, oh, I, yeah, she's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we found her. Yeah, it underwhelming. Was like, it was pretty underwhelming. Um. I like that she's pretty sarcastic and, like, you know, witty. Um, but... She's like, didn't need your permission, but thanks. But, yes. But I like that about her, but you're right. She really didn't get as much, like, flavor as some of the other characters did. So I do agree with with her rating there. All right, how about Roland? Roland? I like Roland as well. Isn't he the one that's kind of an asshole? He's going to show off his Thunder Wave, you know? Yeah. 
Okay, is I, he a cooler wizard than Gale? Yes. I, he doesn't, you he know, doesn't, I think he, he might eat be. magical shit, and if he dies, he doesn't kill everyone around him. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he doesn't exude a necrotic aura when he dies. Yeah. <laughs> and I like that he shows up in Act 3, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Really, You really get some payoff for keeping a lot of these tieflings around. You do. It's it's good. Speaking of which, Zevlor. Oh, I, love, I like Zevlor as well. I think Zevlor is up here with the B-tier tieflings. Yeah, he's... I love Zevlor. He's really sweet. Um, and you can tell he really cares. And then um, he has a failing. Yeah. And then he re- recovers from that failing and becomes a leader again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's his character is really like flushed out. He has like two arcs. Mm-hmm. And the whole time he's convincing. Yeah. And even at the point where, in the beginning, where he's like, look, I'm not, I normally don't advocate for violence, but if Kaga were to fall and hit her head, I'm, we'd all be really happy about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, he's funny. Really flushed out. I do agree with that. Volo. Volo is kind of annoying. And don't you have to save him like three different times? He's always yeah. getting himself He's into always trouble. in trouble. He's an idiot, too. And he's an idiot. It, Talk, do you know when you, when you first come into the grove? He's talking to a bat and he thinks it. He so thinks it's a wild it, shaped it, druid. It's, it's just a bat. It's just a bear. <laughs> and if you, if you speak with animals and talk with a bear, even the bear is like, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah, it's really <laughs> funny. Yeah, he's just, he was just pretty annoying. Um, For how much I knew about Volo going into this, with like he's on a magic card. He's on the. He's like the namesake of the Volo's uh, Guide to Adventures or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's like, okay, Volo is like supposed to be this knowledgeable bard. It turns out he's a fraud. And he's yeah, he's an idiot. Uh, that was Gild- a, is he like a Gilderoy lockup? Yeah, is that what like we? The, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a weird choice. That was a weird choice. And then just like in every act when you see him, you're just constantly saving him from something. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the bard in distress. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kithrak Voss. Better arc than Lazel. Yeah. He, he he shows up in the beginning and you're like, oh, he's li- I sense he's lying about something. And then you find out later, like, oh, okay, he's actually, you know, a son of Orpheus. Yep. I feel like he gets a better arc than, than Lazel he does. He does a pretty good arc. And it's like, they just, oh, they just, they punted it. This whole thing could have been one story. Yeah. I think they could have mixed it together a little more. Yeah, I can agree with that. If I guess if Orpheus didn't spend 95% of the game... With a gag in his mouth, <laughs> the, the whole yeah. GIF plot could have been more developed. I, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Gortash. Love Gortash. We like Gortash. I love Gortash. I think I like Gortash too. I think he's up with Kethric. Yeah, he's he's really. He's a he's a Bainite. He is. He's out here for ambition. He is, and like you like, you can tell that like at least he kind of cares about his city. A little bit. Um, he wants to no, be in charge of he it. He wants to be in charge. That's of more it. important than anything else. It, Right. I also I think he's attractive <laughs> as well. Not having not doesn't have anything to do with it. Excuse me, sir. What I like about him is that when you show up at the beginning of Act Three, he's like, "Hey, you killed Catherick. Okay, you want to work with me? Yeah. Like, look, you're clearly a badass. Let's team up. Yeah. It's well, like he, that's the same thing the Emperor does. Yeah, he's like, exactly. "Hey, I recognize that you are a valuable ally. Like his, like, we should be allies. Yeah, like his character, like the way he was written, it was just like you know he's not he's like always taking the best opportunity because he's one of those people that like if the biggest bully in the room dies, he's gonna go to the next, but like the person that killed them and stay with them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's the kind of guy you want to be friends with in prison. Mm-hmm. And he's uh it's kind of hilarious when you mention when he first gets mentioned in front of Will, and Will is like Enver Gortash. That guy? He, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like, oh, he really rose through the ranks quick. <laughs> I also enjoy how he clearly like looks down on the other two of the three. Yeah. It's just like, oh, God. It's like, I think I'm going to be in charge when this is all done. Yeah, I agree. I like his character quite a lot. Let's talk about the Emperor. Let's, let's just use this one for the Emperor. The Emperor? Um, He's... How do I feel about the Emperor? Let me try and like get like, a good opinion going in my head. I like the I like the storyline of the Emperor being that like he's disguised himself as someone so he can talk he's, to you. He's disguised himself as a hot anime woman. Yeah. Because it's the only way to defeat the absolute. Exactly. No other reason. Yep. And I like the um like I like your building relationship with him. I like sucking on those tentacles. Yeah, I like, you know, you can you can fuck him, so I like that every time you you, you take more tadpole powers, he's just like Damn, you're hot. Yeah. You are magnificent. Yeah, he... Yeah. And it's like... 
I was like, going with that. Like, you can tell he still, like, believes that, like, his race is really strong, but he doesn't believe in, like, the... The grand design. Yeah. The, yeah. He's very practical. He is. And I love how um, it has this whole story about how he, like, lived down... Like, he lived with people and, like, helped them, and he had this whole journey down there um, as an illithid. I think that's, like, a really cool detail. Yep. I, I would put uh, um, Umelum, or however you pronounce his name, Amalun, the uh, the mind flayer that you meet in the Underdark. Yeah. I would put him in, like, C tier, too. Yeah. I think he's got the same kind of arc going on. Yeah, he does. I haven't actually, like, finished. Like, I didn't bring him the shit that he needed. Yeah. He shows up again in Act 3, so make friends with him. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? To, uh, to do that. All right, last but certainly not least, Mizora. I think we have an S tier villain. Yeah. Honestly, I think maybe Kethrick should be an S tier as well. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, if, yeah, I agree with that. For all the reasons we said earlier. Mm -hmm. he's, just, he's very well motivated, very well voice acted. Yeah. And the armor you get when you kill him is fucking great. It's pretty dope, yeah. Mazora, on the other hand, you do get to have sex with. I didn't have sex with her. Oh, you missed out. It makes Will so mad. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if it makes Will mad, his character's kind of boring. Yeah. You have to see some depth in That's him. It's something. Not just... I'd love for him to give a shit about something. Mm -hmm. So I, I like her as the as the patron. Mm -hmm. she, she, I think she does a slightly better job than Raphael in tempting with the Faustian bargain. Yeah. Because you're never really tempted to give in to Raphael. To, uh, Raphael because, like... You always have other options. Like, the Emperor will protect you. You're not going to transform. Exactly. You can free Orpheus. You can do your own thing. You can control the brain. You can take the crown for yourself. Yeah. You Fucking can, like, give the crown to Gale if you want. Yeah. And he'll no like, one's going to give it to Raphael. Yeah. So, like, he's never really a contender. Yeah. Whereas Mizora fucking owns Will. Mm hmm And even in, like, the quests where you're trying to get him out of his pact, she, she at every turn is just, like, clearly has the upper hand and knows it. Yep. All right, well, that's our tier list for Baldur's Gate 3 characters. Are you uh, happy with everything? I'm pretty happy with these placements, yeah. I'm still sad about Astarian, but... <laughs> I, can't simp, I can't simp hard enough to put him into A tier, or into S tier. He's very good. Upset. I'm going to tell Megan that you put him in A tier and not S tier. She'll be okay with that. No, she won't be. No, she'll be fine with it. No, she won't be. The, really, the only, thing, <laughs> the only change I would make to, to this game is, why, why can I not romance Withers? Why can't I not go to bound to to Pound Town with Bone Man? I mean, his name is Bone Man. I want to enter the Bone Zone. Yeah, the Bone Zone lands. With us. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of. I'm trying to think of puns. Oh yeah, you know he knows how to jurgle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You'll feel, oh, you'll feel dead after some time with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't as good. Yeah, every time, anytime I'm down, he can always raise me up. <laughs> That's a good That's one. That's a double. That's that a two is, meetings. That is a two meetings, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. This, this is fucking dumb. Leave a comment. Tell us what we got wrong. I'm sure you're mad about something. You probably already left a comment. Go, go leave another one. And like the video and subscribe. And uh, follow me on OnlyFans. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.